On a personal level, I'm um, pretty good. I feel like I've uh, got a lot fitter. Uh, as a team, I think we've got a lot uh, closer together. And uh, I think uh, so far, to recap, it's been very well. It's been going very well. I feel like they have. They're, uh, they've been a good addition to the team. Uh, they're coming out a lot at lunch times with us, coming doing extras after and whatnot. Bruno's a good guy. Uh, so is Traddy. Uh, everyone else, you know, they're selling really well. So, yeah, good on them. At the start of the year, I got, I think I played eight, eight or nine consecutive, and then I didn't play another minute after. Um, look, personally, it's, it is disappointing not playing. Uh, everyone, every footballer will say that, but at the same time, like, the team did so well, and I trained every single day. I didn't, I missed maybe three sessions with my ankle. So I, I trained every day, I was part of the team, I helped the team. Look, if I'm not playing, I'm not playing, that's the boss's decision, but for me, the team, we won the Premier's play, got to the grand final, so I was happy with the year altogether. So, well, 100%, it's made me a lot more hungry, like, I, I don't want to, for myself personally, personal goals, I don't want, I don't want to have another season like that uh, as not playing, you know what I mean? I want to play a hell of a lot more this year. Um, so it makes me hungry, it makes me motivated to go even more than I did the last pre-season, to get fitter, to get better on the ball. And you know, I know what the boss wants, so I've just got to produce that, and especially in big games, so. I'd like that one to be signed actually, so if we can get the, the shed onto that, not bad. I'll get onto uh, Angus Grant then. <sighs> Look, he's trying to get in. He's trying to get in. There's a triangle at the moment. Who knows what's going to happen? But nah, he's a great guy, uh, Dags. And I think Dane as well. Dane's getting a little bit jealous because I think Dane and Dags are a little bromance as well. So there's there's a couple of bromances going on at Glory at the moment. So look, uh, Bremen is obviously expecting a, a baby girl. So now I'm a little bit worried that where do I stand and who do I go to? I think Joel, you know, Joel's a very, like a father figure to us. So I might be out to clean up Joel a little bit. So yeah, look, it's hard times at Perth Glory. <laughs> well, for me, Man United I've supported since I was three years old. Um, so it was like it was a dream come true for me uh, to share the pitch also with Paul Pogba, who's my idol. Um, you know, he's world-class player, he's won the World Cup, played for Juventus, you know, he's top, top midfielder. You're not getting much better, really. So for me, that was a positive. And also to see the physicality of them. You know, they're all great on the ball, but like you see the, the strength, the height, the speed of them is just like, it, it shows you what you need to get to. And it makes you a bit more hungry to, you know, strive for that in the long run. Yeah, look, I think uh, the fastest run of my game was when the, when the 90th minute whistle went and I sprinted to Pogba. And I think Traddy uh, nicked it, then I went to Rashford. He promised his to, I think, Brimmer, then Neil took his. Then I went to Lingard, tried to do, you know, the J-Lings and that, or J-Lings. Didn't raid it, bombed me off. Um, and then uh, Bruno and Rojo were my, uh, friends, they speak the same language, so I said, Bruno, can you come with me and helped me get Rojo's shirt because I played on the same side as him and I went to wing back, he was playing left. So I got a photo with him in the game and then I got, the, got a shirt so that one's uh, hanging up in my room quite nicely. I got a house so I'm moving up to Joonla. I bought a house moving up to Joonla Pens, as you'll know. I'm getting a lot of stick from the lads actually. Uh, they're asking me what time my flight arrives every morning because obviously it's about 30 minutes down the road, 35. But yeah, Chris and Jakey are always ripping me for that. So my flight arrives at about 8, 10 every morning. So I've got a friend moving in with me. Shout out Cal Simmons. He's moving in with me, he's gonna share the house with me. So I've lived on my own before, it's quite boring. But I think with a roommate, it's a bit more entertaining and keeps you busy. I'm Michael, Northern Suburbs, and South Northern. So I've got two mates in the Northern Suburbs. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't say oh. this over. I think that's strange. Well, which Associates. Acquaintances. Yeah, acquaintances, there we go.